some of the key pieces of technology are hosted control planes, which enables you to manage multiple different clusters simultaneously. And those clusters could be running containers. Those clusters could be running virtual machines. Doesn't matter uh, to control tower. Uh, the ACM technology, advanced cluster management, which comes from Red Hat, uh, is also a key piece of technology which enables you to be able to step and repeat clusters and set them up with determined configurations and tear them down at the end also. There's a third key piece of technology that IBM has developed called provider mode, which essentially takes the data services that your applications, your, your clusters, need to be able to consume. This could be block, file, object storage, doesn't matter. It could be other types of data services like backup and restore or even disaster recovery services. And it centralizes them in a central hub. And then you're able to provision those services out as you set up clusters. Now what really gets interesting with this control tower um, technology is we have automated, you know, in a true vein of Kubernetes, everything gets automated, right? Um, we've automated the provisioning of clusters. So it's as simple as when you want to set up a new cluster, you go in and you just assign some tags to this new cluster. Say I want backup and I want a certain backup policy. So policy driven. Yeah, exactly. So I can tag that cluster, we then, with Control Tower, when we go to provision the cluster, we'll also provision the data services. We'll provision the backup jobs. We'll set up the policies for you. Here's another cool point. When you're done with that cluster, because you know a lot of Kubernetes clusters are ephemeral, right? They fire up and then they go away right. very, very quickly. The, 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 the CICD cloud How many people remember to tear down the persistent volumes or to tear down the backup jobs? And so we do all the cleanup also because we have all that information, we have the tagging, we have access to all the CRDs, so we're able to do that too. So we're able to make it much more efficient to run you know, your containerized apps, your virtualized apps on this platform. So it's really, we really are pretty excited about it. And the control tower brings the magic, the secret sauce that keeps everything compliant despite all of those control planes matched into one. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And so we're able to help with the, you know, the control tower or the, the control node tax that exists in Kubernetes. Uh, we're able to virtualize those control nodes using this, and this is really a feature of hosted control planes or HCP, um, where we're able to virtualize those control nodes so you no longer need to have separate physical hardware nodes uh, dedicated for those control nodes. They can be virtualized in your hub and again, it's all part of the setup process. That you and you can move them around, uh, bundle them together, move them around depending yes. on compliance and performance. Yes, so. yes. And that's, that's also a key, one of the key features that we support is the ability, it's, it's like vMotion, uh, although it's called live migration in the OpenShift world. And so we support you know, RWO and RWX block storage, which enables, because in order to be able to move a VM from one node or one cluster to another cluster, you have to have the capability to see the block storage from both VMs and transition. And that's not a capability that all storage companies have today. We have that uh, with Fusion. 